hello Facebook. I'm supposed to sound more excited when I do this shit. Aren't I? <sighs> that way I'll connect with more people. Good people like happy people. Um, well, I'm nervous, first of all. Um, I'm going to talk about something that, um, that I just realized now. It just dawned on me now when I was talking to Yara. I can't decide if it's a happy or, or a sad thing. I guess it's sad, isn't it? Men have been in a very, very, um, I want to say interesting position. But it's actually sort of sucks. Men have been in a shitty, sucky position. For as long as I can remember, but I think it's most definitely longer than that. Woman, how is your men's heart? I realize that men <coughs> have been denied intimacy in the world. We've been denied intimacy. Men don't have a space to physically exchange intimacy with other men because that is deemed as uh, gay, unmanly. So therefore, something that men must never do. And I was telling Yana, my partner, that that as soon as a boy can conceive or understand the idea, conceive and understand two different things. Isn't it? As soon as a boy can understand the term be a man, which is as early as when he can talk, three years old, that's when intimacy gets withdrawn from him. Hello, one person online. It's probably you, Yana. Hello. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's the time intimacy gets taken away from a boy. Slowly. More and more. As he grows up. And he'll get far less hugs. He'll get far less affection. He'll get far less empathy. Um, but the main thing that I'm addressing is that he gets far less intimate man connection um, than women, girls in general. Um, this has, has, has played its toll on men. By the time we grow up and, um, we go through puberty and all that stuff, it's, it's pretty much all been cut out. Like, uh, like our gay radars are like up here. Like we're, we're scared of being gay. We're scared of uh, being seen as unmanly, less than a man. And I realized that that basic need for intimacy has its has been responsible a lot for how men are today. In my discussion with Yana, it's it's been about Women have been able to access intimacy with their friends, their mothers, their sisters, their brothers, in fact, their fathers. All places men cannot. Cannot access intimacy, physical intimacy from, from anywhere else aside from your partner, your girlfriend, your wife, your woman. 
Um, even gay men, I guess, have have a tough time with that too. Because a lot of societies has got their gay radars up here too, and you know that you can't just be intimate and get a long, long good hug from another man, uh, from a, a woman, or whatever, with, without it being questioned. If a man has too much uh, intimacy, even if it's just like a real closeness of the body to another body with a, a random, not a random, but like any other woman that you may feel touched or care, a lot of care for, then you are um, crossing the lines of your, your, your relationship with with your woman or even if you're single you're crossing the lines of the relationship with the other woman and her man even if both of you are single then there must be something going on between the two of you if you're going to be be that kind of close to each other so therefore men can't can't do that with just another any other woman even if they're both single even they're friends because that looks weird like why why are you guys doing that? That that that's, that means the, society has deemed that the only time a man can have that kind of intimacy is is if there's something going on between a man and a woman, and if he he does that with another man, it's gay, and even if you are gay and you want to have that kind of intimacy with a, uh, with another man and just be close and really hug and really be whatever, um, it's it's still seen by the public by society is it's not okay to do that it's not okay to express all that kind of stuff in public coming back to to even just just heterosexual men um obviously now best friends can't do that best male friends can't do that like women l sleep together all the time it's it's strange for men to sleep together and even if if both men have an understanding that that that's okay they can never talk about it um, and I realized that this motherfucker has, has been responsible for men cheating. Let me tell you why. Because it's been translated that the only time a man can have intimacy with a, another woman is, is when he is intimate with her uh, from a sexual nature. It has also been, been, um, taught um, to to men generally that the only time I can have intimacy with a woman is if I am sexual with her. Talking from my own experiences, I I I've gone around and slept in broth oh not slept in brothels slept with 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 women in brothels and stuff like that. Um, and 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 a lot of the time, <laughs> I found that I went to those brothels. Uh, I saw a woman walking around naked, and I, I wanted to be near them. I wanted to feel them. I wanted to 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 just get intimacy. And mm, 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily feel sexually aroused. I I wouldn't necessarily I, like I would think I were, I am because. My energy, my spirit is telling me, Nyani, you need intimacy. So go there where there's women where it's okay to be intimate. Um, and and I'd go there and some a lot of the times, and I've I've said this to Yana, um, but I guess I didn't know where I, what I was feeling at that point in time because um because I didn't have the understanding that I have right now, is a lot of the time I would say Hello and goodbye to that one person. Anyway, a lot of the time, I I I would I would, I said to Yana like because I I used to tell her about the times that I that I um fucked up and gone to um, strip clubs and brothels and shit and had um, sexual intimate relations with with other women um and I I I I'm like you know I went there and I I couldn't I couldn't get myself sexually aroused physically sexually aroused I couldn't get hard and um obviously that wasn't received well anyway because like you know we understand what we understand so she was hurt anyway but the point is like now I think back and I'm like oh shit I wasn't sexually aroused because that's not what my energy my in my my that's not what my body was, my, my spirit was saying to me. It wasn't saying, I need you to go have sex. It wasn't saying, I want you to go have sex. That's why you need to go be in this space. It was just saying, I need intimacy. 
And I would go to those places looking for intimacy, but the only thing that I understand when relating to intimacy, of which I'm going to do this quadrant clear, intimacy versus sex and intimacy versus sexual orientation, um, is, is that the only thing I understood about that was um, if I want intimacy, that means I want sex. So I would go out there looking for sex when actually I'm just looking for intimacy. When actually I just want a really, really long cuddle. When actually I just I just want a good stroke on the back and and, and nice face to face action, um, like that's that's it and it's not sexual at all and and men do not have the space to have that anywhere at all and I'm like shit. That's why men go around fucking cheating, because their energy just their spirit just wants to have a good human intimate. Um, uh, intimate moment with another human being with all of these human beings that we come by that we ca we care from for from our hearts that's all we were ever looking for but the only thing that we know that we've been taught by our environment by our society by the public whatever it is and the public only knows that too where it comes from i have no idea but that's the only thing the only thing we understand is that if we we're being intimate that means i need to have sex and I'm not saying it's solely responsible for cheating. There's, there's, there's many layers to this stuff. But I'm saying this is fucking tackling a very big part of this shit. And then Yana pointed out something else. Rape. Rape. Men looked for intimacy so far, so much that it even went to areas such as rape. Is it not conceivable? It does not make sense that actually a person can, can be so withdrawn from intimacy that they would go to such extremes? Women, imagine if you couldn't cuddle to touch in an intimate way anyone except for one person. And, and that's, the one person is not the problem. The problem is you care and you love so many people. But you're not allowed to show that. You're not allowed to share intimacy with them. Men are fucked. Men are getting eaten inside out. Yana suggested that I, I, I um, start a, a men's intimacy group. I think it's a good idea. I just need to really sit down and um, see how I'd like to conduct that. Probably do a whole lot more research about, around that. But I think it would heal a lot of fucking aching. Heck, men have not been able to be intimate with their own mothers. Because if you're holding your mom for a bit too long, it, it, it actually, uh, uh, what, why are you doing that? Do you want to have sex with your mom? Is that it? With your sister? You want to have sex with your sister? That's the kind of position that we're in. I can't cuddle my mom for too long. And I've, 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 I've noticed this. I found myself needing to make up an excuse to hug my mom. To, to say something like, Oh, I missed you. Or, Oh, you look good. Or, Whatever, like I need to make up some damn stupid excuse before I, I hug my own mother. It has to be a goodbye, a hello, or or s consoling or something like that. Same thing when it goes to family and sisters and stuff. But but like a family needs to be immediate family. I don't know how it is a, a lot for for the Western world, and I mean out of Africa and like the Australias and the Englands and the Americas, I guess. But 
in Africa, in South Africa, or in the places that I know, that I understand, that I've experienced, that's, 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 that's where we're at. Men lack intimacy. Men don't have intimacy, but lack them. We don't have intimacy. And that's why, especially with the brothers, uh, when I say brothers, I mean the African men, black men, that shit is, is, is um, more extreme than the, the Western world, I've noticed. I've noticed, like, <laughs> the first time that I hugged another man, even just a hug, just a brr, cross hug by mis like, it wasn't by mistake, it was like, just a, ooh, what's going on? Just that. The first time that happened, and it was so fucking weird, was in high school, when I started making more white friends. White friends, white guys, hug each other all the time. But still, they still have their own like gay radar going on because they know they can't hug too long. You know, as a man, you can't hug too long another man. Otherwise, what's going? Huh? What? 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 what you know? What? What? Uh, what? You know? And that's 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 uh, that's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to talk about. Woman, your man. All of them are lacking intimacy. They don't have intimacy. So how do we address this? How do we how do we fix it? Where do we start? This has been thousands of years. Millions possibly. I don't know how long the human existence has been around. I don't do that kind of research yet. But a long time. I thought about um, introducing intimacy um, in my own relationship, for my, for me, for my benefit. Um, I guess it's also, yeah, it, it also sort of does apply to 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 women, but but that's just on from a male to woman dynamic. But start having fucking long cuddles with with other people with my woman, um, because we still do have it in the back of our minds that what are you actually thinking? What do you actually want? If you're cuddling another man or another woman for that long. So I guess let's start the conversation. Let's be aware of that, one. Let's be aware. And men, just like you, women, just like anyone else in the world, babies. Babies. You know when babies are born? Like, sometimes they cry fucking hard because all they want is just to feel intimacy. Just to feel a body against theirs. Because they spent, like, since, since they were, it came into existence, they only ever had ex intimacy. From uh, from from being a baby, you only ever had intimacy. You were always tucked up against your mom. Only, always. That's the only thing you ever knew. And now you come into this world, and life is supposed to be better, but actually it sucks because there's none of that human connection that you've known. All of us have had that. Every single boy or girl, we've all had that. We we're all born into that. We we're all naturally, um, we we're all naturally have a need and a desire for that because we're all naturally given that from from birth, from existence. And now all of a sudden, you can't get it anymore because I'm a man. Shit, shit. I don't know if that rings any shit for you, but like for me, shit. It explains so much, so much hurt that's going on in the world, so much hurt that's gone on in my life, in my personal life, in my relationship, so much. <sighs> yeah, man, this is Nyani Sonzigalelo Tsetse, representing Vela Souls and um, 
that's that's what I wanted to share with you. Bless you and lots of love. And I hope hope this has uh, struck some some chords with you and given you a lot to think about. But peace out. Hello and uh, goodbye. One person. <laughs>